this longhorn beetle? Longhorn beetle is an invasive species that just got here. It's from Australia originally. Um, and then I went to New York, <clears throat> wiped out two, two million acres in million. New York. How long did that, did that take? Like 10 years. Uh -huh. well, it's been here 10 years now. And, uh, and it moves slow, thank gosh. Because uh, otherwise, it, it, if it gets totally away, it could be the end of agriculture. So far we found them in cacao, okay. ulu, uh, kakui nuts, citrus, palms, mac nuts. Uh, there's a rumor they're hanging out in the Albizias. If that's true, I don't know what we're going to do. So any of these trees around here could be infected? No, these are, it's too high up here. It's only found okay. in Puna, basically in between Curtistown and all the way to HPP. But we just got a siding in Pahoa. We just got a siding in Hilo. So your aim is to get some uh, live samples? Yeah, we're paying tw $20 a, a live beetle, and that's East Hawaii Cacao Association. Really? Dot com and dot org. And, uh, $20 for a live longhorn beetle. You call me. It's on Facebook and we're putting up posters everywhere. It's going to be in the paper. Come Excellent. Call me. I'll come give you $20. It's got to be the right kind though. Okay. So let's put, put a picture of that up on the screens for people to look at um, when I edit this. And uh, yeah. so you got like these longhorns. So is it because the trees are weakened in a way that they're more susceptible or what's going on here do you think? Nope. They, uh, they just got when normally they just eat hardwood. They got to Hawaii and went, aloha, and they oh eat God. everything. Oh my God. Well, that's too bad. Well, uh, anyway, we're up in volcanoes, which is what um, Patrick was referring to, is like the higher elevation. So do they have like the rat lung? Nope. No, uh, no slimy beetles, I mean slimy slugs that are... Well, they'll lay an egg, at a, chew, a little hole, female lays an egg. That egg becomes a pupa, which, and then a larva. And that basically lives, it goes in, it lives underneath the uh, Camdian layer of the, and eats all that. But then when they get bigger, they go into the, har the hardwood and then, uh, then that your branches start snapping and it's killing the fruit. Uh, oh. And then when they turn it into an adult, they chew a big old hole out of it. And then you can, that's one way you can look for them is, is a hole with like sawdust. It's called frass. So kind of like a termite? Yeah, great big termite. Big ass termite. How big's the hole? Mm, big as your finger, easy. Oh, okay, okay. Are those similar to like those, oh, those are those beetles. I've seen those big holes in trees where they've gone in. Well, that could be uh, the carpenter bee. That was carpenter bees in yeah, that you, case, yeah. You right. can uh, find out all about them on our website. It's cacaofarmersofhawaii.com. And okay. uh, go to the pest alert, and there it is. We have okay. YouTube videos. Excellent. Say that once again for them. So to learn about this pest, you can go to our website. That's the cacaofarmersofhawaii.com. And there's a bunch of information, and there's YouTube videos, and I'll tell you all about it. Thank you, Patrick. Thank awesome you. work you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Aloha. Aloha.